And good afternoon, what one of the three bring you another world of warships. Normally this is a silent Sunday, but today I got treated to a ship when I did my um, super container. I'm gonna have to rain down a godly fucking firestorm on you. First battle in the Sims. Now take special note, I am not taking right now for the first battle, I never do. I never take um, any premium consumables, anything else like that. This is how I get my, my first impressions on ships. So you have a correct assessment of that. If you got a ship, you don't have any money, no cash. You got a basic 10 point captain. Okay, I know this point here is a 12 point captain. You can get a real feel of what the ship is. And then my second battle, I'll actually add her on, um, you know, premium consumables. Now, it's not that I don't have the money, I do, but I just wanted to give you a really a good feeling about how the sim actually operates when it's basically nerfed. You're not giving it its best. Now, I always recommend this letter if you have a. Battle starts. Oh, well, that was odd. I always recommend that you always, if you have the option, to, especially with a premium ship, you should always be using premium everything that you can. Oh, I love something over. Sorry about that. Let's give them a hard time. Yeah, that's one of the frame rates back up where it's supposed to be. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so we're, we're going to do this. Acknowledged. Now remember, they should have a clear advantage on me for that. This will give you a good idea of how this ship actually operates. Again, no premium consumables, so it's going to take a long time for my smoke generator, um, speed boosts, and limited damage control. Alright, um, scouting as usual, because I want to make sure my team gets scouted. Sighted on the horizon. Emerald. And I'm actually going to turn back around. Now, notice I do have the short range torpedoes on it. I completely have not outfitted it yet. Concentrate fire. This is just straight up. Nimble. Watch. That's excellent. So we already see so that, that she turns on a dime. Let's see if I can catch this moss. I do have a backup right next to me so that. So I'm going to go in. I have it detected. Oh, by the emerald. Oh, that's not good. Smoking up. Slow generator start. Yep, that's going to hurt. Emerald sm snuck up on me. I was trying to sneak up on the other guy, but he snuck up on me. Okay, well, so the gun power's not bad. Get back on the way again, so that... Because I don't want to get caught flat-footed. Yep, there you are. Smoke screen set. So, you're still firing the smoke. Torpedoes astern. 
Nope, I'm gonna take this one. Hold below the water line. We're flooding uh, quickly. Okay. Oh, died of man. So, that, so that I really need. So again, she's very nimble. Again, first time on so I always like to check for that. But she really needs speed boost or sorry, the the acceleration mod so she, she can accelerate forward and backwards more easily. And she can play the seat. She doesn't do that well. But just on plane handling by itself, it does an excellent job of you know maneuvering. I mean seen the torps come up just like that and I was able to easily do that dodge just like that where it was no problem but once she's at a stop she does not like to get moving forward or backwards easily so we can fix that of course easily so that by putting you know adding more flags and everything else to that but this is my first impression of her so that just how it is which is fine we will come back to her after this battle's over and then from there we will outfit her um, with normally and then from there we'll go do another test with her completely outfitted correctly But yeah, let's just cover a couple of things while this is waiting on the ship. Okay so the, um, Let's go with maneuverability as you can see it's like it has a really tight turning radius Which is great as you've seen when I was dodging uh, Dodge a set of torps, but her acceleration is uh, Anemic it, as, as best I can actually describe it, um, it does have it's okay concealment. I'm um, 6.6 is not bad, and everything else like that. Um, the second bit of my air is 3.3. So, again, you can get away with doing a lot of things with this ship. It's not a um, Imperial um, Japanese Navy ship, but it seems like it can do the job. Now, the other thing good, good I've heard about it, so that is that it's AA is great. Um, that you can spec for AE and shred planes. Again, since I only have a 10 point captain or 12 point captain at this point, so that you're not shredding any planes with that. So that's, you know, here now when you get a, again, when I do a full review, hopefully I'll have a captain that's befitting of the ship so I can give you a, a good rating on how this will actually be. Torpedoes. Um, so you have eight torps that you can sling out. Again, the way I'm doing it is actually set up 5.5 as default. Um, we've got to see if there's actually an upgraded set of torpedoes for this. So if that's the normal range, that's kind of short, but it is. And you only have four guns. So you you're, don't have a lot of firepower. Again, you see me duking it out. So that even with other ships that were backing me up, we still could not kill the DD um, soon enough for it to not spot me. Uh, that can be a problem. Hit points of uh, okay for for DD. I mean, not really a lot, but y you can boost this up again. You know, by using the captain skill. The ability expert will give you that that extra mm. in a um, in your HP. But again, this is just a basic build. This is what people would normally have when you're first starting out with the ship. And it's, it's not good. Again, 5.5. Now, I know you can put a, a, a massive smoke wall, but that doesn't do any good anymore like it used to, where it's a uh, ship like this, where you put out a big smoke wall, you can actually your hide or your teammates and everything else that but and as you can hear with the penalty the smoke firing penalty yeah that doesn't really do you the much good either but again it's a walk-up thing to actually have a ship that's you know given to you so i'm not complaining on that aspect of it i just have to get it out and get used to it well it looks like it's going to be a little while before that gets out of battle so let's now let's put on some modules smoke and add some more smokes to it um you can go with engine boost or defensive aa i'm going to actually go with the 
38 normal, go with the defense bay. Hey. Pain damage coming up true. Okay. Now let's put some models on here. Okay, we're gonna do student mods for damage control. Oh no, sorry, propulsion. Because you always want to be able to be able to go where you need to. Unfortunately, I have a mother law that is well. Um, Taking care of chance issues. But yeah. Okay, may product be modification. No. I do have four smoke generators available that it actually increases the smoke. The action time, but no, I'm not gonna use that. So let's go with the I think this is messed up because it says it's green. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to freeze the. <coughs> and again, we want to put on the propulsion mod so we can actually go faster. Now we are going to take this other side of torpedoes with a 9.2, increases the range by a lot, but it does not hit as hard and they are much slower, but that's fine. I think it's going to be more useful. Alright, get some flags on it. Oops, wrong one. Signal flags, all right. Well, since it's a premium ship, I like to make sure I don't have detonations. Maximum speed, we need that. And anything else is just, you know, or AA. All right, let's go. And out, we are in a tier 9 battle. <coughs> so you're getting a true test of actually what these sims will be able to do. We do have carriers in the game. So my defensive AA will actually help me out as well.
Oh, that's much better. She actually is, you know, jumps to the speed is much better now. Without adding, so th this is a must you have, you have to have the propulsion line. It just accelerates too slow without it. Really, again, you can see how fast it, the run ship is. Thunder. Good luck and fair seas. Okay. Well, I would be laying down smoke, but they're way too far away. Ooh. Oh, you're not gonna like that. Spotted already, that's fine. Come here. I'm gonna get close to this island right here. Come on, give me one more. don't have speed boost, so I'm not sure how the well this is going to work, but... Provide anti-aircraft fire support. Smoke generator started. Provide anti-aircraft fire support. Acknowledged. So I actually might put the increased action time one on. And you're toast. Smoke screen set. Skill coming. Okay, got a scout. I'm gonna reverse my turn now. So. Figured. Provide anti-aircraft fire support. Enemy destroyer sighted. I'm uh, not sure what our CV is doing, but okay. Not a plane. Ace! We 
Let's see if I can get my guys over here some cover. <coughs> Are you eating all of those? Oh, glad I didn't waste my smoke on that guy. Oh, are you, are you kidding me? All right, sorry. I, I know I'm supposed to be doing fresh impressions, but sometimes your team just says, wow. Did you just ground? Tell me ground for the night. Yes, he did. Shit. Oh, so now I have to waste the smoke. Because he's backing up trying to get from being ungrounded. Planes. Smoke screen set. Oh, coming in. Nope. Eyes and out to repair. And now I can use my little smoke now. Don't blame the ship on that. That was me, and I knew, knew it before time I tried to correct it, but nope, too late. I still should get the kill. Yep, I knew. You destroyed an enemy cruiser. <laughs> T 
team just a little bit angry in chat. Two kills. Only a little bit of damage and everything else, because again, you gotta remember the gun power is, is mediocre at best. Um, your torpedoes are slow um, when you change over to the 9.2s. But they're more comfortable. You can actually use them and everything else like that. Um, as you can see, it's like um, shredded planes. I didn't even use my defensive AA incident. I was That's waiting for a drop from a carry incident, or something like that, to come over. But again, so spec out, you can use her as a good AA platform. Um, again, maneuverability is great. I look forward to doing more in this ship. So. Let's see how we did. Came in second overall. Again, killed five planes. Only did, killed more was, was the the, um, the CB, which is great. Let's see how money wise. Well, that's a good multiplier. Looks like there. Look at the credit earnings. Okay, so again, this ship will be a good one to, um, to level up your captains. If you have a U.S. captain that you want to level up for DD, this ship is uh, pretty pretty nice. If you go in a game um, with a partner that's a carrier, you can guarantee that you can shred planes. Um, and again, this is not even fully AA spec. This only has, um, I don't have it, the captain spec out for AA. So, good little ship. I like it, so I appreciate Wargaming for gifting me it in the super container. Look at her AA values. Oh, so, I'm just gets off the screen. So, like I said, it's respectable, you know. Again, and with defensive fire that I have would be great if I actually had on the capital skills but I did use the AA for that but if I actually had this but the actual then the AA range this ship would be a really monster at killing planes but even as a spec right now, again, I have neither thing that actually specs for full AA, but yet it did a lot of, it killed a lot of planes. So, and again, that's even route me using defensive AA. If I actually had clicked it, it actually probably would have killed more planes. So, suffice to say, good choice. Um, we will see further along, but my initial presence is that it's a great ship and something that you would definitely want to play.